So we're just coming down the river here to a big bend and there's a high cliff bank and over time what happens is the river pushes into that bank and it scours it out and there's some good boulders and rocks and whatnot and you get a lot of really great depressions and that's where we're going to end up fishing. So we're going to be streamer fishing and even though we do want to pick off some of the deeper water um, we also want to get into some of the shallower bits because the water is actually fairly low and clear right now and some of these fish are starting to actually feed closer towards the surface because we have been seeing some bugs. There's not a lot of bug activity today which is why we are going to focus on streamers but we're not going to go very deep. And we're going to be casting actually with a floating line. We're going to be using a small streamer with a few split shots and we're literally just going to be casting and jigging and twitching it as we go through. So as we come around the bank, we're going to be focused on the deflections and the troughs and seams as well as the dancy water. Right in that little bucket zone, we've yep. got a few good twitches as it comes through. That might have been One a more right over. there. Yeah. So you can see I'm pretty much trying to get that fly right into the palm bit and then have it come through the seam as we go through. Way over, way over, yeah. Sorry, I got too far. That's okay. Um, Still going to work that, what I can of it. We'll focus on what's coming up ahead of me. So you always want to have your eyes looking just slightly ahead of you so that you can then place that fly right in the spot that you want. Okay, I'm going to get you over those sunken rocks over there. And there's no point in, in rushing it because the guide, the person on the oars, is going to get you there. There's a little green trough right below the boat here. It's actually further off the bank than we think. And I am making sure that I'm actually twitching that those flies right back towards me so they get close to the boat in case there's a follower and somebody chasing my fly. Hey, hit that bucket over there too. Right, right over top of some submerged boulders there in the tail out. What do you think, eh? Yeah. Give it a flip yeah. off the right real quick on yeah, your back, guys. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah nice it. brownie, nice brownie. That was a very slow take, so. Yeah. Again, just worthwhile. Working it all the way through, that was a perfect trough. Yeah. Fish took. You're going to have to do it from the boat up. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. It's a really nice fish. Hey, that's, awesome, that's eh? closer to 90, girl. Yeah, it's a long fish, turns, okay, as go. it turns out, eh? Yeah, really hard because there's a foam line along the left side and all sorts of great stuff out. But I have to also make it through with the boat. So I'm going out, then I'm going to suck in, and you just work the seams. I'm going to end up going back over to that foam line over there. Okay. Let that swing into that green bucket below you. Okay, I'm going to surf it. Hang tight. There you go. Perfect water. Yep. Come on, fish. Right on the edge of that foam. Cool. Right in there. A lot of this is flat rock bottom though, which isn't the greatest for holding fish. No. But that green trough right down there. Yeah. Bring that right along this line below us here too. Okay. So below us right now we've got a bunch of uh, 
submerged rocks, larger flat ones mixed in with a couple kind of bouldery basketball sized ones. And there's all kinds of ledges and drops and troughs. And I'm just really trying to bring my fly right along those. Right off those rocks, eh? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put one a little over and then I'll get one coming right past those. This will end up going right past the top side, so the pillows of those boulders. Nobody's following, eh? Nobody's following. Yeah, again, might need to be a little bit deeper. Yeah. While prospecting streamers after two days of cold weather, it was clear the browns were sluggish and not coming up to chase. We switched to jig head streamers and let them sink into the pockets and troughs and pulled out a couple of exceptional browns. By changing up depth and retrieve, we can determine how aggressively and at what depth trout are feeding. 